This video was sponsored by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com, use promo code CLNS20 for 20% off of your purchases. He says, hi, Zach. Out of all the rookie non-quarterbacks drafted this year, these are guys who are not quarterbacks, out of all of those guys drafted this year, who do you expect to have the most dominant performance this season? Uh, four dudes came to mind for me. Number one, who's going to be most dominant? I think it's Chase Young out of Washington. He's a defensive end. He was the best non-quarterback drafted in the NFL draft this year. It's really not fair to compare quarterbacks to other positions because it's just their, their own thing. Quarterbacks are like centers in basketball where they're their own thing. It's hard to judge them against other positions because they're so different and the positions they play are so different. The roles to play on their team are so different and unique. But I would not want to play against Chase Young, the defensive end out of Ohio State. He is a nightmare to block. Um, like he makes me want to watch Washington this year. I want to watch Chase Young. I want to watch Dwayne Haskins. And I can already see he's going to cause a lot of problems for quarterbacks, whether it's Daniel Jones getting sacked or Dak Prescott with the Cowboys on his back constantly because he's got Chase Young in his face or literally taking him to the ground. Um, Chase Young is the guy that I think probably will be most dominant as a rookie, not in quarterback. But a couple other guys come to mind. For me, two and three are on this list for the same reason. Both the Eagles and the Raiders last year really were in need of a number one receiver. And so Henry Ruggs is a new receiver for the Raiders, got drafted in the first round. He's going to have a huge impact. He really reminds me a lot of Tyreek Hill from Kansas City, where he's fast. He's a big-time playmaker. He's explosive. He can go up and get the ball, go get jump balls. He's a big deal. He's going to be awesome. And so far, Henry Ruggs has had a great camp with the Vegas Raiders, and he's doing good stuff. He's going to have a great year this year. And really, the key is he's going to make the Raiders better. Having a number one receiver is going to help them. It's also going to help the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles got Jalen Rager on the first round at a TCU. And Carson Wentz, I am sure, is so happy to have him. Because he is the explosive vertical threat that the Eagles need. He had a bad quarterback in college. His numbers aren't quite right. But he gets open deep often. He can get a jump ball as a jump ball threat. Uh, perfect for the Eagles. My buddy Brett Coleman made a great video breaking down exactly why. And kind of laying out why Jalen Rager's a great fit for the Eagles. He really is. And uh, he's going to have a big impact for their roster. He, they need a number one receiver outside that can make plays and win vertically. And they finally got Carson Wentz a guy like that. Number four, uh, someone no one's really talking about, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. When the Kansas City Chiefs drafted him out of LSU, at the end of the first round, I looked around, and I, just, I looked on Twitter and went, oh no, why is no one talking about this? The only person actually, ironically, of course, the only person who was talking about this was, well, Brett Coleman, because he kind of, I think he sees the game of football better than other people. Um, the rich got richer when they drafted Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Remember, if you watched any LSU football last year, he made play after play after play. And they got a guy that they don't need, a running back who can, I mean, that's what the Chiefs did. The Chiefs got a running back they don't need, a running back who can run well, makes a bunch of really good cutbacks. He's also a great receiver. They are, the Chiefs are so good at designing screens. And think about how Clyde Edwards Hilaire, a guy who can catch the ball out of the backfield, makes the Chiefs just a matchup nightmare. You got so many great receivers. You're trying to cover Travis Kelsey, not to mention Tyreek Hill. Oh, and if you cover everybody vertically downfield, drop everybody off into cover as well. We'll check it down to Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and he'll just make people look silly. So I I think Clyde Edwards Hilaire, if it's not Chase Young, then probably the second player. I shouldn't have maybe listed him number two. Clyde Edwards Hilaire has a chance to be incredibly dominant this year for Kansas City. And it would not shock me if Kansas City maybe won the Super Bowl again this year because they just got better. It's kind of scary, kind of terrifying. And Clyde Edwards-Alaire is going to be a really big impact player for Kansas City this year. Assuming some freak injury doesn't happen and he gets hurt. Uh, you can't predict injuries. But what I've seen so far, man, this guy's going to create matchup nightmares when you play against Kansas City.